All right, so, you know, when we were in high school, one of the mathematics we used to do was find the value of X. And this being the Find X5, we wanna find five amazing things about the Find X5. There are five things that have amazed me concerning this device. Number one is the build quality. I mean, this in the hand already feels like a premium device. The way the front glass blends and, and contours inside, you know, it's a curved glass scenario. When you go over to the hand, to the premium scale of life, you're talking about um, curved glass. So the way the, the glass curves makes you feel on their hand, it feels amazing. Now, the other thing I have to point out, the first time that I saw this phone, uh, on renders just before it was launched. I, I looked at it and said, wow, I really want to see how these guys uh, execute it because to me it looked ugly. But now holding it in my hands, let me tell you, the guys over at Oppo know really how to blend. I like the way the, the, the back glass contours around the camera uh, the housing. It, it I, let me tell you, it, holding it up close and candid, I really like their execution. And one of the things that Oppo know how to do very well is their CMF, that's their color material and finish. I like this white color. You know, it's a, it's a frosted glass on the back and uh, you know, the way they, they blend that with the front uh, piece, this is amazing. I love the white. I, I know maybe the, the uh, you might have uh, other opinions because it's a black version, but the white one, is really an amazing phone. So the build quality on this is really sturdy. It feels very nice uh, to, to even hold. It does not, um, it curves all the way. So it's really beautiful to hold. The second thing I love about this device is not only the build quality, but the performance. Now, I said it runs the Snapdragon 888. So in as much as we are over in 2022 and the Snapdragon 888 was last year's uh, chipset, it still really performs well in 2022. I mean, I would have loved if they would have given us the 8 Gen 1 on both phones, but the 888 is still a beautiful processor. And I mean, baking it with a color OS 12.1 uh, makes you have a snappy phone. It's really fast. Uh, you can uh, bake in through your apps as you're playing your Call of Duty, as you're taking your images. And then the fact that, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna come that into point number three, which is the camera. The fact that it also is paired with the Mari Silicon X. I mean, you get snappy performance with the Find X5. I've loved uh, using it for the few days that I, that I have been using it. And let me tell you, it's really fast. It is really fast. Baking in through the UI uh, and the optimization with uh, the 888, it's a really comfortable phone to use. One of the greatest uh, selling points of the Oppo Find X5 has to be its camera. Now, there are two things about the camera. Number one is the partnership between Oppo and Hasselblad. And you know, Oppo have to make you know that that partnership is there. That's why at the back of the phone, it has the Oppo logo and the Hasselblad logo. Now, Hasselblad uh, is a premium uh, camera manufacturing company. So they tuned over, uh, or they worked together with Oppo to tune the cameras on the Oppo Find X5. And let me tell you, their color profiles, all that make this phone churn out amazing photographs. I mean, I have taken photos at night, I have taken photos during the day, and, and it takes amazing photos constantly. So that partnership with Hasselblad really did well to improve the photography experience on this device. And not only that, but now the fact that uh, they built their NPU, their imaging processor, that's the Mari Silicon X, uh, makes it even much more better. So not only is the is it powered when it comes to photography with the Snapdragon, with the Snapdragon 888? It also is coupled up with the Mari Silicon to give you amazing photos. Now, as I said, we're gonna do a separate video to talk about how our smartphones take pictures, but the fact that they built their own uh, imaging processing unit makes this phone even much more better when it comes to photos. And not only in photos, also in videos. Because when you go into the video app, you know, it has the sign mode. You can go into the cinema mode. Then when you go into the cinema mode, there's so much that you can do, including, you know, 
you can uh, change it to log. You can put it on log and, and take your videos, record them using color log, then go and, and edit it later on whatever you're taking. So if you're one that is in the smartphone uh, video uh, category of people, you, you know, you buy your smartphone for taking videos, for recording, you know, we are slowly moving from the fact that you need a camera to do a professional video to having phones that can do that. This is a phone that uh, I would recommend for you guys to add in your category. We're gonna take a couple of videos on this and just you know uh, test out its amazing capabilities. But the tuning from Hasselblad and the fact that it works together with the Mari Silicon X means that you get great photos during the day and great photos during the night. So the camera did not come to play the battery because of course, the guys at Oppo with their VOOC, especially now the Super VOOC. This is a, it charges, uh, or rather it has an 80 watt power brick. So this thing charges super fast. You know, their Oppo Find X, uh, sorry, their Oppo Reno 7 comes with a 33 watt. Their Oppo uh, Reno 6 5G came with a 65 watt. This is an 80 watt power brick. I mean, this thing juices up really fast. So gone are the days where you have to charge your phone the whole entire night. To You can charge your phone from zero to 100 in about an hour and you're good to go. So that is another thing that I love about the Find X5. It has an 80 watt power brick. So, the question therefore remains, is this phone value for your money? Because the current price tag for the Oppo Find X5 is 100 Gs. And you know, someone joked and said, you're Nishamba Kamulu. Hihi, niyo kwenda mogonda. Eh, hihi, niyo kwenda mogonda. The idea is, if you're looking, if you're in, in the business and you're looking for a phone that can give you great photos, great videos, you, you know, maybe you're not just the Kawaida smartphone user. You don't have a smartphone just for making calls because we have that category of people. But you're looking towards getting something that you can enjoy taking photos with when you go for your safaris, when you're doing your content, especially for those people who are shooting content nowadays on their phone. This is a phone that I would really recommend for 100 Gs. I mean, because there are other high-end devices in this line, you know, begin to range all the way from uh, 130 going upwards. So this is still a good um, consideration. So the question of value for money really depends on what you're looking for in a smartphone. If you're one that is looking for great photography, great videography, great performance, then this is truly value. But if that's not what you're looking for, then maybe you can consider the other things that they have over in the mid-range department. So that's our thoughts on the Oppo Find X5. Hopefully, when we get to interact with it a bit more, we will give you the full review. But that's a lot from us, guys. It's time for us to enjoy some gaming on this amazing device. See you on the next one. Peace out.